Welcome to a new episode of 2020. Hello, my name is John Gerges, and I'll be your host for this evening's session. And before we get started, let's introduce our amazing team. I'm Sylvie Fahmy, and I'm from St. George and Sarah West, North York. Uh, my name is Freddie, I'm from St. Mark Scarborough. Hi, my name is uh, Mark, and I'm from Church of Archangel Michael and St. Tecla in Brampton, Ontario. Hi, my name is Myrna, and I am from St. Mark Scarborough. Excellent. We are going to discuss a very interesting topic tonight. The subject of love. Is love an action or is it an emotion? I personally think that love is an action because even Jesus said in the Bible that one of the greatest commands is to love. And because it's a command, it seems that it has to be followed by an action. So, so God didn't just tell us to just love. Like I can't just go up to somebody and randomly say, I love you. It's, it comes through your action. And, like, and Jesus, the way he showed us that he loved us was he died on the cross. So it just shows that. The, you know, what I want to disagree, like the way I'm disagreeing with this is because usually you're, you're acting on something, like the way you're acting on something is because of an emotion. You feel something towards someone. So but sometimes, the way, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I was going to say the way you act towards someone is based on how you're feeling towards them. For example, I don't like you, I'm going to avoid you, for example. My action is avoiding you. My feeling of, I don't know, like uh, disagreement with you, for example, right here, um, is going to cause me to do that action. So that's what I'm feeling. Like, I'm, I think that the action is actually a bit vague, more vague, surprisingly, than the emotion. But I think that if you tell somebody you love them, how do you express that? Yeah, but what leads you, like I second him, because what leads you to tell someone that you love them isn't an action. It's not an action that leads you so to how tell you So how would you express that? It's an emotion okay. that you get. And that emotion leads to actions that show that okay. emotion. Exactly. So you, but, you just proved my point. No, I think it's actually more actions. Like I said earlier, they're, they're, they're expressions of our emotions. Now, there are several actions that you can do, different <laughs> physical things that you can do in order to express that love for someone. Right. Okay. okay. I agree. But, yeah, so... But we still agree that <laughs> yeah. it's an action. Yeah. No, okay. it's, no, 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 no. it's an you emotion. Decide. It's an emotion that leads to an action. Example, love isn't the only emotion. You can, you can be mad, which is an emotion, or anger, sad, whatever, which leads you to act in a certain way. Like, if I don't, if I'm not sad, I'm not acting in, like, I'm, I'm sad. If I'm if I love someone, I'm going to act on it. So it's an emotion, like any other emotion, that leads to an action. But those actions aren't necessarily love. They're ways of expressing love. But how do you know you love, like, how do you know you love someone truly? Like, how do you know that you love somebody truly mm -hmm. to, like, for it not to quit, you know? Like, because true love never quits. Mm -hmm. True love never quits. That's what I think. So but is that love... An action or an emotion? Because we always say, like, I can just say to my friend or, like, to any random person, you know, I really love you. But it's right. like, really? Like, do you really love me? Like, exactly. it's such a deep they're, word they're not that acting. it has to be, it has to come by an action. Like, I'm saying that. They're saying, okay, I really love you. But they're not actually expressing it correctly. Okay. So like, how... The, the, the true love so, that she's so talking the, about okay. is expressed through the things you do to one another. Like, or say Exactly. Example, like you said but, it. Okay. But it's, it's not like... Yeah. Okay, like, I'm not, I don't want to just talk about love, like, mm -hmm. a couple or, yeah. but even in general, like anybody, friendship yeah, or even yeah, a yeah. friend or anything, mm -hmm. the way you show that you care about someone a lot is through the things you do for them. Otherwise, you could say, I love someone, but you don't really, there's no meaning behind the words unless you have the Which action. Means that your action isn't loving. But, okay, let me ask you this, like, <laughs> like, Sorry. we know that God loves us, okay, because yeah. he says it in the Bible, but... He chose to came down, like to come down and prove that he actually loved us, and it was through dying on the cross and being humiliated in front of people and dying to wash away our sins. So, it's through an action that you show love. Through actions that you show it, but it's not through actions that you feel it. You don't. What lead? What led you to act that way? Isn't it an emotion in you that? led you to do these actions it's something for sure that yeah that triggers you i agree that tr that triggers you to do the action but again 
even when you think like somebody loves you, like if, if I think that like for example the person that would want to marry me would like truly loves me, it's by the action he do, the actions he does for me. So I feel like it's actually an action because it's the things he does that makes me feel like, mm -hmm. okay, this is love. It's not just like the words or it's not like the emotions. Okay, but within. exactly if that someone what led him to do these things? Like I'm just it's saying, desire. You I think it's desire. Like you, no, it's not but, desire but it's of like. Decision. What's the desire of having you? No, the desire is to yeah. The des you have to have desire in you. Like that's, then that's right. not true. I think love. love can be the technique to sort of show to express it. Mm -hmm. Like love can be a technique to express it, whereas desire is the true emotion inside. Okay, how would you physically love, not show love, because there's a big big difference I think okay. and that's what we're kind of missing right now there's a big difference between showing love mm -hmm. and loving so how would you love well okay. without but it's it's through like let's say you are kind to someone let's say that is how you show your love but that's also the like that is also love like love isn't just I really like you and we're tight, but it's what we do for each other, right? Yeah. So you can't love another person without the actions, without physically doing stuff for each other. That actually was, I wanted to get into that, I think. Yeah. It's actually, it's nice. they kind of have to go hand in hand. <laughs> as, as, like, as much as we're saying that it's an action and it's emotion, I, I think I'm starting to realize that they kind of have to go hand in hand. Exactly. But, yeah, they yeah. do. So it's, it's not it's just... Hard, it's wait. really hard. Yeah, it's no, no, really but hard it's not just an emotion. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it's not just an action. It's like you can't it's have an emotion, the emotion without, that you know, leads to the action. You can't have one without the other. the way it is. Like... Yeah. For example, loving your loving your enemies. You can't act upon it, but at the same time, you can't have hatred in your heart. You said, how can you love somebody physically? Then, like, sorry, you're talking about lust? Because sometimes we think that we love people physically. Sorry, like, I think, yeah, I think I just might have misworded it. I, by okay. saying loving someone physically, I mean, like, physically showing that love. Okay, so through yeah. physical action. <laughs> yeah, but then again, Or like, like, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. actions that you do for that person. And okay. then again, it is really important that the emotion does come first before the action, if it's true love. Because some people can act like they truly love you, and they could really, 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 truly show you that they truly do love you. But in reality, it's, they acted upon it when they really don't. And that's where the misunderstanding of the whole thing comes yeah, in. I think, this I think it goes hand in hand. Exactly. <laughs> but, like... Okay. I think it sort of summarizes what, what she was saying. Well, let's, like, the let's, hardest part, yeah. I think, is loving your enemies because, mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'm not going to just randomly go and just say I yeah, love of course. you. You know, like, of course. it's hard, so. Well, let's take a look at the word love yeah. just for a second. The word love, do you describe it as an adjective? Is it an adjective or is it a verb? Look at the word <laughs> love. It's a dictionary. <laughs> it's a verb. It's a verb. It's a verb. Myrna, you're right. Definitely. It's it a is verb. a verb. So it, if it is a verb, what is what is a verb? It's in action. action. I was gonna say it was a noun, but <laughs> <laughs> so if love is an action, I can tell you guys that I love you guys. But unless you see me demonstrate that in an action, mm -hmm. you guys are gonna say, Well, man, that's just smoking smoke in the air. Right? It doesn't make it doesn't hold any water. But if I tell you that, you know, I love you guys, and by the way, do you want some water? Well, do you want to yeah. fill up your water <laughs> at all? You. you see, that's an action now. Oh, oh, I see what you did. You see? <laughs> oh. So the action is, if I tell you that I love you, and I do something about it, then that's love. In the Bible, we know the most famous verse of all that we've memorized since we were this high, John 3.16. For God, For God so loved. loved the world that he, what, gave his only, son. his only son, that whosoever believes in him shall never die, but shall have everlasting life. Look at the first part of that. For God so loved the world that he, what, gave. Gave and love are both actions. You can't love without an action. So God loved us 
and he gave us. He demonstrated his love for us by giving us our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's the demonstration. That's the proof in the pudding. That's what love is. Love is a verb. It is an action. Thank you so much for attending another session of 2020. And I invite you to come and look us up again very soon. God bless.